got the ones you said, but they're a bit tame these days, aren't they? No agony aunt, no romance tips. <laughs> you come to throw some more accusations about? Actually, we've come to apologise, haven't we, Lel? Did you get the drugs from, anyway? She found them. Where? I'm cool one. No point telling another lie, is there? They were jaders. This guy was in a mess and he begged me to get rid of the drugs so that he wouldn't take them. What guy? That's his business. Just give us a name. Why does it even matter? It matters because my daughter got hold of him instead. Denise, you knew she had drugs on her and you did nothing about it. What's this got to do with you anyway? Uh, you work in my salon, we live together. I've got a right to know if you're bringing drugs into my business, into my house. Look, Annie is getting older now, right? She's moving around, picking things up, sticking them in her mouth. Imagine what could have happened. I wouldn't let a kid get hold of them, though. Except Lily and Amy. Yeah, I meant little kids. Oh, like it makes a difference. Right, you need to get off my case. OK, easy, Jada. Sounds dodgy, all right? That's all I'm saying. And who do you think you are to be judging me right now? You necked a bottle of vodka and went speeding off with your baby in the back. But I'm the bad guy, right? I'm the one who's a danger to all our kids. I'm allowed to be worried. Well, worry about yourself, all right? Not me. You're the one in front of a judge on Monday. I've done nothing wrong. There's a girl lying in hospital. Linda, that's not my fault. Oh. No one's locking me up, are they? If you truly believe that, then you can find yourself another job. Right, because I don't want someone like you working here. Look, you've got to understand that Jada is still a kid and but she felt like she was under attack and she just... Lashed out. I just asked her where the drugs came from, you know? I've got a right to know. You know, some story about getting them off a mate just didn't add up. And it don't matter what I've done in the past, right? Drugs are a whole different level. You all right, Linda? Oh, sort of, Janine. <laughs> Charming. What's happened? Oh, like you care. Look, she's just had a little disagreement with Jada. No, no, I didn't have anything with anyone, all right? She's the one who told me I belong in prison. Yeah. Well, she didn't quite say that. I think it's just a, you know, a little bit harsh to sack her. Sounds to me like you're perfectly within your right. It's not your fight. Just keep your nose out. Oh my God. Okay, all right. I was just trying to help, but whatever. <sighs> okay, look. I know she crossed the line, but please, we can't sack her. No, I'm sorry. I can't have someone like that working for me. It's not my fault. You were all ganging up on me. Yeah, I know. Things got a bit heated. She cries and I lose my job. How's that for you? We'll discuss your job. But for now, I think it's best you just go home and keep a low profile for a bit, yeah? Jada. What do you want? I heard what happened and I think it's outrageous. Don't start. Uh, Outrageous that you're being treated like this. And, and by the sounds of it, there wasn't a word you said that wasn't true. Exactly. But yet again, the whole world rallies around Linda. And she just gets away with it like she always does. And do you know what? It'll be the same in court next week. She'll just turn on the waterworks and she'll have that judge eating out the palm of her hand. Yep, sounds about right. About those kids, you know? Poor Annie and Ollie. And what sort of life are they going to have? with a drunk like Linda for a mum. <laughs> Do you really think she'll get off? Mm. I am sure of it. Because the whole community will rally around her. She's got Mick fighting her corner. In the meantime, you lose your job, she just gets away scot-free. So, how about you and me come together and we do something about Linda? Once and for all.